Santa's hotline, North Pole. Okay, no, well, hell, hell, second girl. What's your Santa's hotline. Can I help you? Get them on, you get them off. You've got to do that. Uh, train set, sure. Santa's hotline, North Pole, hello. Uh, if anybody wants to... North Pole, Santa speaking. Ho, ho, ho. Sure, I'm sure this is Santa Claus. Who's this? Ingrid. And how old are you, Ingrid? 23, really? So, tell me, Ingrid. You been good? You been good a lot? You ever been great, Ingrid? Would you like to be? Are you kidding? Why do you think Santa's always so jolly? Oh, Ingrid, gotta go. Head off, just walked in and she doesn't look happy. You got it. Three days from tonight, I'll be the one in red. Morning. You got that right. Ooh, shot in the dark. You're not happy. Would you tell me what is going on? Going on? Going on in our outer office. Going on in your inner office. The phone is ringing off the hook and people are answering North Pole. Why are they doing that? Because if they answered them any other way, nobody believes Santa Claus lived here. I see. You do? No, I don't. I just wanted to say that to see how it would feel. It doesn't feel any different. Excuse me. North Pole, Santa speaking. Ho, ho, ho. No problem. He wants to speak to you. To me? Hello? No, this is not Mrs. Claus. What are you doing? Hello, are you still there? She didn't mean it. Well, I hope you're happy. David, would you please tell me what is going on? Santa's hotline. Santa's what line? Santa's hotline. Maddie, look out there. What do you see? You ever notice you answer all my questions with a question? I do. I see a world starving for hope, a world starving for fantasy, a world starving for joy. How about you? I'm fine. I ate before I came in. I don't know if you noticed it, but you just did it again. What's that? Answered a question with a question. I did? Where was I? Everyone was starving. Ah, yes. Now, I don't know if you believe this about me, but I take all this pain and suffering very personally. I'll bet you do. Many's the night I sat up thinking. Imagine sitting and thinking. And then last night it hit me. Left a bruise, I hope. Who is the one beacon of hope, of fantasy, of joy still left out there in the world? Steven Spielberg? Santa Claus! Oh, yeah? But all is not well at the North Pole. No, huh? No, Maddie, you see, we're living in an age of state-of-the-art technology, global travel, split-second communications. Is that bad? It is if you're Kris Kringle. Do tell. All right, I will. You're a child. Watch it. You want to tell Santa Claus what to bring you for Christmas. What do you do? Write a letter. Ha, I can see you haven't been around a lot of kids. Nobody writes anymore. They don't. Hell no. They're too busy studying for SATs, applying for credit cards, going through detox. The joys of childhood. And that's where Santa's hotline comes in. By simply dialing our convenient 900 number, children from all over the free world can converse directly and in total privacy with old Saint Nick or one of his personally appointed helpers, all for the low, low price of $1.75 a minute, plus the cost of the toll call. Prices may vary outside the continental United States. You like? I hate. You want to take a second to think about it? Just when I think you've sunk as low as you can go, you find a basement store. Check me here, but you seem a trifle disturbed. You have the morals of a rabbit, the character of a slug, the brain of a platypus. You're making me... How can men try to make a profit out of Christmas? It's easy. You call the phone, come to that place, and I had the whole thing cranking about an hour and a half. Ooh. I just want to scrape you off the bottom of my shoe. Hey, wait a minute. You're not fooling me. I know what that means. 